In this video, we'll learn how you can fix your hyperlordosis training at home. Hyperlordosis is the increased curve of your lumbar spine. Makes you look with your abs protruding and create a lot of tension on your lower back. The problem is you will have your abs protruding, which doesn't look good even if you're not overweight and also can lead you to injury. That's why it's very important for you to learn how you can fix this posture problem, okay? To start off, before we strengthen the muscles, we need to understand a little bit what's going on in our body when we have this posture problem. From this posture over here, you have your back hyperextended, which is that. So when your back is hyperextended, what that means? Your back muscles are working too much. So to start off, you need to learn how you can relieve tension on these muscles and also on your lower part of your body, you have your hip flexors, which is a muscle that starts off over here on your lower back and moves around your thigh across your hip joint. And they are too tight as well. You need to learn how to release the tension over there too. So first step, releasing tension on these muscles. Second step is gonna be creating mobility on your spine. So you're gonna release tension, create mobility, and last, we're gonna strengthen the muscles that are weak. In this case, we're gonna focus the work on your core muscles, which is gonna help you to drive your pelvis to the right angle. So your pelvis looks like this. You need to strengthen your abs, which will drive your pelvis to the right angle. And also your glutes, they will coordinate together to do this movement of your pelvis. So by strengthening these muscles, we will also learn how we can keep our posture doing our day activities in order to really fix this problem. And we're gonna restretch the muscles, and then second, we're gonna create some mobility on your spine, on your whole body. Third, we're gonna strengthen the weak muscles. And fourth, we're gonna learn the right posture to maintain during your daily activities. So let's start off by learning how we can stretch the muscles that are overworking when we have this type of posture. Okay, let's start off stretching, okay? I want you to focus on four things. First, when you stretch, I want you to do that with your eyes closed. We're gonna create that brain connection to the muscles that we wanna stretch. Second, control your breathing. You're gonna inhale in four seconds, exhale in eight seconds. And third, we're gonna stay around one minute on each position. And fourth, I want you to focus on the part of your muscle which is more stiff. That's why it's very important for you to keep your eyes closed and connect your brain to your muscles. Focus on the area that you're feeling more stiffness on your body. It's gonna uh, create more awareness to your brain to help you to release, to relax the area, and then we're gonna be able to stretch even more, okay? Let's start off stretching our back muscles. You will sit on your heels and extend your arms away of your body as much as you can. Keep your butt on your heels. Relax your lower back. Stay here for one minute. Close your eyes. Inhale four seconds. Exhale eight seconds. I want you to focus on your lower back, okay? This part over here. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you the next stretch already, which will turn your body sideways. Walk with your hands as I'm doing here. Keeping your butt back. When you feel stretching the lateral part of your spine and also on your lower back, you're gonna stop there. Eyes close, inhale four, exhale eight seconds. Try to push your body away, driving your butt back and your arms forward. During the one minute, when you feel that you release the tension, you go further. You will feel this part over here of your back and also your lower back. After you're doing one minute on this side, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Remember, you need to stay for one minute, okay? I want to make this video a little faster for you guys. Just explain the technique and then you can do at home. Now you're gonna lay down on your back. One leg extend, this other leg over here. You're gonna grab your thighs and bring it over to your chest. Keep your chest out, your whole body aligned. Think about this. You bring your leg this way and you pull in your hip that way. Okay, it's gonna be an opposite force. This one over here, we stretch our hip flexors. They start off on your lower back, across your hip joint, and go on the front of your thighs. Same thing, remember that. Eyes close, 
inhale in for a sec, exhale in a sec. Connect your brain to your muscle, it will help you to relax. When you're feeling stiffness, don't try to push further. Just stop there, control your breathing, and when you exhale, you feel that release the tension, you stretch further. Pushing your legs toward to your chest and driving your hip to the opposite side. Remember to stay one minute and of course, do with the other leg. And the last one is the hardest one. Take a look on this stretch over here because this one is not easy to do. I'm gonna do in both angles, okay, from the front and from the side. So from this position over here, the first thing that you need to do is drive your hip in. So think about to drive your tailbone in all the way. When you drive your tailbone all the way in, you already start to stretch in the front part of this leg over here. Remember, the hip flexor start on your lower back, across your hip joint and go around your thighs, the front part of your thigh. That's what you're gonna feel over here. So, when you do that, you already stretch the muscle. Second thing, you're gonna drive your hip a little forward, you will feel it stretch even more. Holding this, lift this arm up and inclinate your body to the side like that. Hold for one minute, close your eyes, inhale in four, exhale in eight seconds. Let me do from all the angle. First, bring your tailbone in. This is very important, okay? Bring your tailbone all the way in. Go forward with your hip, not your body, okay? Hold your torso back. Go forward with your hip. Keep holding your pelvis in, lift your arm and incline lighter. Eyes closed. You could hang on some, something over here, okay? To give you more balance. If you did, you can hang something here to give you more balance. Okay, incline your body sideways and hold for one minute. If you're having a hard time keeping your eyes closed during this exercise, of course, keep them open, okay? The point is just connect your brain to your muscle. So by doing one set of each holding one minute, you're ready to go to the next step. It's gonna be creating mobility on your body. All right, the mobility exercise is gonna be on your hands and knees. The first step is learn how to keep your back aligned. So if you have the hyperlordosis, you probably have the, the ability to keep your back hyperextend like that without you, you even notice, okay? What do you need to do? You need to put your spine on a neutral position, which is this one over here. You cannot have your back hyperextend. First, reduce the curve on your lower back and then hold. But don't lose the curve, just reduce a little bit the curve and hold that. So from this position over here, arms and legs apart, size of your shoulders. You're gonna bring your tailbone in, all the way. Bend your lower back, middle back, upper back, head and hold for one second and tailbone toward to the ceiling extend your lower back middle back upper back head hold again tailbone in only tailbone in bend your lower back middle back upper back head hold tailbone out extend your lower back middle back upper back and head hold you're gonna do only one set of 10 times of this mobile exercise Okay, it's only one set. And now you're ready to start the strength exercise. Okay, the first one is gonna be the breathing dissociation. You need to learn how to dissociate the breathing of your belly and your chest in order to learn how to activate your core properly. Laying down on your belly, on your back, put one hand on your belly, another hand on your chest. First, Bring there only through your belly, letting your belly grow as much as you can, like that. Think about a pregnant woman, okay? You need to expand your belly as much as you can. Second, bring there only through your chest, the full exhale. So, it's very important for you to only bring the air first through your belly, okay? Expand as much as you can. You need to rise your belly, like this. And then, chest and exhale. Do that 10 times. Belly breathing, chest breathing, exhale. After you've done that 10 times, you're gonna do a core activation, which is belly breathing, chest breathing. Snap your belly in without letting the air go out. Squeeze your belly for three seconds and exhale. So belly breathing, chest breathing, snap your belly in for three seconds, full exhale, like this. 
belly, chest, snap your belly in, three, two, one, exhale, same thing, you're gonna do one set of 10 times, belly breathing, chest breathing, snap your belly in for three seconds and then you exhale. After you're doing the breathing association and the core activation, you will do the bracing exercise, which is this one. You're gonna snap your belly in as you just learned, driving your belly toward to the lower back. Think about this, you have this part over here of your lower back, see my hand here, increased, okay? So laying down like that for you may not be something very comfortable because you have this posture over here. So what you're gonna do now, you will snap your belly in toward to your hand, okay? Place your hand under your lower back and snap your belly in by squeezing your abs. But now you need to breathe holding this contraction. That's the hardest part, okay? Start breathing slow while you squeeze your abs toward to your hand on your lower back. Your hand over here just to create awareness to your brain in order to remind you to keep your abs engaged, squeezed down, okay? So you need to breathe while you keep your abs snapped in. You're gonna do that for 30 seconds. So place your hand under your lower back, snap your belly in towards to your hand, keep squeezing your abs as hard as you can towards to your hand and breathe. You're gonna breathe with the upper part of your chest. Don't move a thing on your abs. Only do chest breathing while you're holding your abs here. Do that for 30 seconds. Also, keep your head aligned, okay? For the sake of the video, I'm looking to the camera, but you need to keep your head aligned like that. So, squeeze your abs as hard as you can during 30 seconds while you're breathing with your chest. When it's done, you relax, release for another 30 seconds. Again, you're gonna do one set of 10 times. 30 seconds working, 30 seconds rest. You're gonna do once more, hand on your lower back, Snap your belly in as hard as you can towards your hand. Do chest breathing, keeping the contraction of your abs. Keep squeezing your abs as hard as you can, okay? You must smash your hand with your abs. Breathe only with your chest, squeezing your abs in towards your lower back. When it's done, 30 seconds break. 10 times, okay? So now it's time to do some lower body exercise. Remember what I told you guys in the beginning. The main thing is strengthen your core, your abs, and your glutes, okay? Along change the way that you're gonna maintain your posture doing your daily activities, working, whatever you do, okay? So right now we're gonna do the hip thrust. Keep your heels about under your knees. Keep your legs apart, size of your shoulders. Keep your knees out, okay? Don't let your knees cave in knees out, you're gonna do this technique that we call bracing technique, which you just learned, okay? Keep your neck snapped in, keep your whole body aligned, including your head, engage, squeeze your butt as hard as you can, and lift your hip out of the ground, keeping your brace active, only till here. Control your way down, when you slightly touch your butt on the ground, you lift again. Do not hyperextend your back doing that, okay? Your back must be on a neutral position. That's why you need to keep your brace active and only to here you're gonna lift your hip, okay? Don't go all the way, this is your limit, okay? And when you go down, don't release, okay? Don't relax your body, keep your abs engaged. Your abs is the connection of your torso and your hip. If you do the hip thrust with your pelvis like that, if your back hyperextend, okay? Keeping the hyperlodos that you have, you know it's strength your muscles on the right angle. Doesn't make sense for you. You need to first be able to align your body, which is do your brace technique, bring your pelvis in, keep your spine in a neutral position. And from this position over here, you need to strengthen the muscles. If you strengthen the muscles with your body misalignment, your problem will only get worse. That's what happens most of the times. Because if you don't know how to position your body while you're doing the exercise, the exercise is supposed to help you it's gonna make your posture get even worse, okay? So, watch again. Do your brace technique, snap your belly in, engage your butt, drag your hip up only to here. Control your way down, focus on your glutes activation. Slightly touch your glutes on the ground. 
and then go again. Keep your knees out, don't let your knees do that, cave in. Your knees must, must be out throughout the whole time. You're gonna do this four sets of 15 reps. By strengthening your core in your glutes with your body on the right angle, it's the first step to start to change your posture, okay? But remember that if you do any of these exercises with your hyperlordosis, you do not fix that while you're doing this exercise, your problem will only get worse, okay? So now let's learn how we're gonna do the squat exercise, aligning correct the pelvis in order to strengthen our glutes and maintain the right posture while you're doing the, our daily activities. Let's learn how to squat. So keep your legs apart, size of your shoulders, keep your toes slide out, okay? And open your hip by driving your knees out. Do your bracing technique. When we squat, think about this. You need to keep your hip open, which is driving your thighs out, and hold that up. Don't let your hip close any part of the exercise. So with your hip open, you go with your butt straight down. Make sure you don't let your knee cave in and up. When you're up here, don't close your hip. Keep your hip out, straight down, straight up. Look from the side. Remember, if you have the, this posture problem, which you have your back hyperextend, you need to first drive your pelvis a little in, bring the tailbone a little in to reduce the curve of your lower back. Activate your brace and holding this position over here, that's how you should squat. Make sure you don't let your back hyperextend. You need to strength with your body aligned. It's very hard for you at the beginning to do that without looking at the mirror or better, record yourself to make sure you are doing this exercise with your pelvis aligned. Because if you squat with your back, hyperextend like that, and then you will strengthen your muscles with your body not aligned on the right pace. Remember that. First, you need to fix your pelvic angle, drive your pelvic body a little bit in, preserve, keep a little curve only on your lower back. After you've done that, do your brace technique. Squeeze your abs as hard as you can, as you already learned, and open your hip, remember that, knees out, hip open, hold that position. You open your hip and then go with your butt straight down. Two ways you can keep your body aligned. Don't go too far down, losing the curve on your lower back, or don't drive your hip all the way back going down like that. You need to open your hip, align your body, and then go with your butt straight down, straight up. Don't do this exercise with your back hyperextend. Listen to that. If you have this posture problem, if you strengthen your body, hold that position, you're not gonna change this posture problem that you have. You're gonna do four sets of 15 times, okay? You can rest 30 seconds between each set. You're gonna repeat this routine three times per week. You can pick Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, okay? Do three times per week, and after four weeks, you will already start to see some improvements. Take one side kick of you before you start this program. It's standing like that. Take one side picture and turn out. And after one month, you're gonna take another side picture to see your body changes, okay? By doing this program three times per week, after four weeks, we already start to see some improvements. So, and the last thing, actually, you need to remind yourself during your daily activities to always fix your posture. Why is that? When you stand, usually people that stand for long period of times, they develop this uh, posture, okay? So when you stand, don't stand like that, okay? You need to fix your posture whatever you're doing during your day, okay? When you're sitting, same thing. If you're sitting here, instead of to arch your back like that, let's say you're sitting on a chair, you're working on a desktop, whatever you're doing, don't keep your back like that. You need to release the tension on your lower back, okay? By fixing your posture, doing your daily activities, doing work, it's gonna be able to change your posture for good. Okay, if you want to do the exercise, keep in the right posture, but then, then you go to work, you go to do your things, and then you don't keep that change on your body, nothing's gonna change. I know at the beginning it's gonna be very hard for you, 
because you first need to create awareness in your brain, how to position, how to change uh, your body, but after a while it's gonna get easier, but it's gonna be uh, a hard time every day to try to put your body on the right position. But you know, everything takes a little bit of time. If you really need to do the things right, I'm pretty sure that's gonna help you a lot and gonna prevent yourself to develop injuries. And the most important thing, it's gonna look better, you know? No one wants to have the abs protruding like that. I know a lot of people, they skin, but they have this posture, they abs look like that, protruding. So you are the, when you fix this posture, you're gonna be able to keep your belt in because you're gonna change the angle of your pelvis, which will snap your belt in and drag your pelvis to the right place. You're gonna look much better than you look with this problem that you have. And later on in your life, you can start to develop injuries, you can start to pinch your nerves, and then things can get worse. So every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m., I have a new video on my channel, okay? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share to someone, because I'm pretty sure that can help a lot of people. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.